We are learning more now about the murder of a soldier from Chino, but investigators taking a closer look at the case say some of the details don't quite add up. Eyewitness News reporter Jessica DeNova explains why a 911 call only deepens the mystery of what happened to 21 year old Enrique Roman Martinez. Desperate to know what happened to 21 year old Enrique Roman Martinez of Chino, his sister and mother go to the place where he was last seen alive. This whole area I showed you on the map as well. The Army paratrooper with the 82nd Airborne Division was camping here over Memorial Day weekend on South Core Banks, one of the islands off the coast of North Carolina. Rangers say the National Park was busy over the holiday. It's safe to assume that there were hundreds of vehicles and thousands of visitors out on the, the island uh, you know, over the course of that weekend. The 26 mile long and narrow island, not an easy place to go missing according to Ranger Nate Towering. The geography of these islands makes it difficult for somebody to get lost for an extended period of time uh, without some other existing problems. But in a 911 call on Saturday, May 23rd, around 7 in the evening, one person in the group tells the dispatcher they saw Roman Martinez walk away wearing only blue shorts around midnight, nearly 19 hours earlier. When we woke up, he was not here and we've been looking for him all day. We were trying to find the park ranger or we, their offices or anything. The host of the podcast Military Murder, Margot, gathers stories from different news outlets about military death investigations. A comment from an NPS ranger in an article is interesting to her. He had mentioned something about um, the, the rangers bumping into the group of soldiers earlier in the day. But when I took a listen to the 911 call, um, I realized that it seemed like it was different from what he had said to the reporter at the time. Towering confirms two Rangers in uniform and marked vehicles made contact with the group between one and two Saturday afternoon, asking them to move their illegally parked vehicles. And at no point during that interaction uh, did anybody from the group mention uh, a missing person. The caller goes on to say the group is worried. Specialist Roman Martinez was suicidal. We might be afraid that he might have hurt himself, or we're, we're really not sure. He, he wasn't diagnosed, but he did have suicidal tendencies. This older sister says talks with her little brother changed over the last year. He started saying that he didn't want to be there anymore. He just wanted to come home. But says he had a lot to look forward to, his end of term in service less than a year away. He wanted to live. We had all these plans. We were, he was going to buy his first car out here. He was going to move in with me. He was going to want to go to school. We were going to take a trip to Japan. The Army announcing on May 29th partial remains washed up onto the shore of Shackleford Banks near the campsite, identifying them one week later as those of the missing soldier. The paratrooper's death ruled a homicide, leaving his mother devastated, asking those who last saw her son alive to remember what happened. Begging their mothers make their children speak because it's unbearable to not know what happened to her son. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.